Generations of the Howard family have been welcoming visitors to Castle Howard for over 300 years. To many people, this is quintessentially an English country house. You can imagine the 170 foot long gallery with its floors of solid oak providing a comfortable place to stroll, especially in the winter months. The view through a series of arches shows a succession of old masters, while the ceilings are hung with ornate chandeliers. The octagon is the centrepiece of the gallery and is lined with oak bookcases. Castle Howard was lucky and it had sufficient space in order to accommodate the libraries of other people mm. who would have deliberately left their collections to the Howard family. It's very often overlooked, it's a marvellous floor in here, yeah. which is solid oak, the boards are yeah. two inches thick, mm. they are narrower as you get towards the extremities of the gallery. Mm. It's one of the largest long galleries in the country. But this is made of oak, it's a wine cooler, it holds about 25 bottles and is covered in gold plated silver. Carcass is oak, lead lined, and on the top of which is the Howard Lion. This splendidly repaired Italian tabletop demonstrates that there can be beauty in restoration. In terms of the difference between the colours, which are essentially now just more or less muted shades of brown. You say it was? Dutch. 1690, 1695. A large part of the house, including the Great Hall, was destroyed on the 9th of November 1940 by fire. The dome was rebuilt with nothing more than the aid of photographs. The Roman classical statues, the Venetian paintings, including a canaletto, remind us of the grand tours undertaken by so many aristocratic family members during the mid-1800s. These tours resulted in the transformation of some of Britain's finest historic houses and provided much of their content. There are sumptuous four-poster bedrooms at Castle Howard. This example was redecorated in 1884. The dining room, set with some of the superb china, displayed in various parts of the house, draws your eye to the corner of the room, which has a wonderful array of paintings. Turquoise room was restored in 2002 in a fabric specially designed for Castle Howard. The comfortable looking music room is all ready for a family's relaxing musical evening. Family portraits and photographs prominently laid out, leaving you no doubt this is a favourite destination. In a nursery bedroom, we see a teddy bear placed on a chair. An evocative image of Brideshead revisited the television series, with which Castle Howard will always be associated.
This is um, 1870. 1870. 1870 to 75. It uh, it was all built. Yeah. So it was converted from uh, just another another room, and the floor was lowered. Oh yeah. So uh, yeah, it's quite a quite a project. It's like very attractive, isn't it? Yeah. It's a no. It's a wonderful. Uh, what sort of period is it trying to capture? Well, it's like that art arts and crafts movement. So oh, the, right. the night fell was. Um, he he was a keen artist, so he knew all the all the right people to uh, to get involved with the it, project. So like Edward Burne Jones and William Morris and all these other other people. Oh, so nice. yeah, he moved in those circles that would certainly know how to do all this. Yeah, but, yeah it's so. sort of Romanesque in a way. It's it? a little bit. It is quite. It is well. It's very ornate, isn't it? Yes, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's the wonderful. craftsmanship is fantastic. Oh, it's stunning, isn't it? It's stunning. It's stunning. When you, I mean, there's not a sort of. Uh, Square inch, really, where it's no, not some it wonderful work. What's all this then? Coffees and teas and lattes? Unfortunately, you're too late now. We've, we've dropped them all. There has been a railway museum in York for over 80 years. The London and North Eastern Railway set up its own collection of retired locomotives back in 1925. 50 years later, the present National Railway Museum was installed. The present museum is much larger than the original. It is housed in a converted steam engine shed. This turntable was installed in 1954 and it is about 70 feet across. It's electrically powered but early turntables were hand operated. If an engine is properly balanced, parked in just the right spot, it is remarkably easy to push a huge locomotive around by hand. If you, if you put um, a new component on, it has to be the right specification materials. Yeah. Years ago, they would, you can see, uh, even on the drawings mind. today, you say, Yorkshire Best Iron. What the hell is Yorkshire Best Iron? Is it two, bag, two tea bags and a bunch of grass? I mean, it's all computer controlled now. You know, and the steel works. It's, it's, way, it's weighed amounts of material and, and, and alloys to give you different steels. Thank you. I could give you a book nearly that thick, different alloy steels. Yeah. So well, you can go, well you, well, you can go EN1. What's the difference between EM1 and EM1A? EM1A is free cutting because it's full of lead. Guess what you can't do with leaded steel? You can't weld the damn stuff because the lead falls out and you end up like an arrow. You have to go EN3. Then you go to medium carbon steel, you go EN8 or EN16, you go to the top end, you go EN, EN24, you go in crankshaft, you're talking EN40, you're going up to your stainless steels, your Martin City and your Austin Genetics. 18A is now EN58J. Hey, that's the 1950s designations of, of steels. So, but you talk to most engineers, they'll say, oh yeah, it's EN8 or EN16, EN24. And the, the higher the carbon, if you clack it with another piece of steel, it will ring clearer the more carbon there is in it. If you overhaul to the correct standard you are licensed for seven years mainline running and then you are off and then you can run three years preserve line. Now some locomotive owners if they've got poor work for mainline they'll retube the boiler get recertified and finish the rest of the 
last three years, main line. The, the boiler is the life. It's the life of the engine, basically. Big steam engine, to be their main line or preserve line, are life for a period of 10 years. So a stink bomb fitted in the hollow crank bin of Middle Big End. This would have glass by till we aniseed oil. If the heat shattered it, we'd smell it. I know something will happen. fastest steam locomotive in the world. 